Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the second half of 2019 Topps Museum Collection Baseball Six Box Ram Team Break number four. This is the last half of museum that we're ever, ever going to have. I'm kidding. We, we may get some more in the future. Who knows? But we don't have any more to post uh, over the weekend. So just letting you know. So this is, this is it for now. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Appreciate it. We did a ton of pick your teams. We did a lot of, the, and then we did four of these random teams. So I appreciate it. We took out the Marlins. If there's any Marlins that happen to pop up, we'll randomize them as a lot to one person in the break at the end of the break. Okay, let's randomize each list five times. Two and a three. Two. Fifth and final time. After five times, we've got Rory down to Danny. Five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. That's easy. I like that, that low dice roll. Random.org. Tigers down to Pirates. All right. So Rory with the Tigers. Mark, you got my Dodgers. Steven Surrey with the Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo, John with the Orioles, Brett with the Mets, John Samuelson with the A's, Chad Stork with the Cardinals, Boombox with the Angels, John with the Indians, Rolando with the Yankees, Sean with the Rockies, uh, Charles with the uh, Diamondbacks, the Snakes, Boombox with the Royals, Reds for Steven Surrey, Stephen K with the Blue Jays, Don with the Braves, Ryan with the White Sox, Jack with the Red Sox, Sam with the Padres, Mark with the Rangers, uh, Charles with the Twins, Andy with the Mariners, Stephen K, Last Spot Mojo, Phillies. Rory with the Cubs, who, and he has a Tigers and Cubs for trade, by the way. Uh, Rays for Boombox, Keith with the Brew Crew, Cairo with the Nationals, Ryan with the Astros, and Danny with the Pirates. Are you sure, Sam? Sam has the Padres for trade. I would rethink that. All right. Pirates for Padres, perhaps? Cubs for Padres? Cubs and Tigers up for trade? Trade at your own risk, folks. Reds? We'll give it a few more moments. Copenhagen says, anybody I, Charlie says, anybody I have for trade? Diamondbacks, Twins are up for trade? Reds for Tigers, maybe? If that does anything for you, Stephen Surrey? All right. Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed. All right, so on Friday the 21st, random team four. Stephen K, last spot mojo. And looking for some Vlad Juniors. Just playing, playing through the pain, folks. Doesn't hurt. All right, good luck. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Well, I'm sure we're we're always keeping an eye out for. Uh, 
some more museum collections. So keep an eye out on the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com. We're always adding stuff, new stuff almost every day. hard to advance the cards with this band-aid. I didn't realize how much I needed the my thumb tip. All right, Buster Posey reveals a Chris Archer. 25 out of 35 Pirates. Danny Connell with the Pirates. A little try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. And Didi Gregorius, two-color dual relic and autograph. Rolando Garcia with the Yankees. Didi Gregorius back in action. Is that is that true, Eric Bailey? We got Laser Show Dustin Pedroia to ninety-nine, two-color quad relic for Jack. <laughs> Eric Bailey saying, OJ the Juice. Is following Jaspies on Twitter. Hi, OJ. Remember when you killed people and got away with it? I remember. There's Cedric Mullins to 299. Remember how OJ's first post on Twitter was uh, was a video of saying he he's on Twitter and that. He has some getting even to do. Who's he getting even with? That's one of the most scariest things I've ever heard. Right, he, he did probably do more time for the memorabilia heist than the murder. And I think, actually, I want to say that the, if I remember correctly, the irony of that, or sort of the, the, the if you want to, justice-wise, he was actually kind of overly punished, I think, for the memorabilia heist. Almost as if it was like a retru retribution for the, I don't know, it was just, just a weird situation for him. No, I mean, it's not how the law works, but we'll see. All right, Sean, what's going on? Just got back. You got randomized the Rockies. Did you buy more than one spot? I only see for one, I think. Getting even to, to some getting some getting even. OJ getting even. That's terrifying. Is OJ outside? Watch my back, folks. Watch the back camera right here. And uh make sure. That the juice doesn't appear behind me. There's the frame. Oh, actually, let's drop that. It's Kershaw.
<laughs> Matthew Bodner says says that if uh, if the Juice is watching, I'm on your side, Juice. I mean, I'm technically on your side too. Just don't hurt me. We know what happens when you get on the Juice's bad side. We got a quartet of giants here. Primary pieces: Brandon Crawford, Buster Posey, Brandon Belt, and Evan Longoria. That'll be for Steven Surrey and the Giants. We got Max Muncy, the Funky Muncy. 190 out of 199. That is for Mark Madsen and my Dodgers. Love the Max Muncy. There's meaningful material. Jackie Bradley Jr. to 50. That's true. Uh, Vinny brings uh, Rory saying by the time we type, with that delay between the video and the and the chat, yeah, I guess it'd be too late. But Vinny brings up a good point. He's seventy three years old. I guess he's not sneaking up on me, right? The frame goes to bam, Miguel Andujar, seven out of fifteen, a silver ink autograph, Rolando Garcia with the Yankees. Nice one, Rolando. I think the canvas was Mookie Betts? No, Juan Soto? Victor Robles was the reproduction. We did pull a OJ helmet recently, though. Yeah, Mikey, we did pull a mini helmet of the Juice. Juice needs to buy into a football break and pull a one-of-one one himself. Be, I mean, be interesting. Juice, if you want to join group breaks, you're more than welcome to. So I want to make him mad. Oh, and Sam S., you were asking earlier what my drink of choice is. It is uh, Jameson, Irish whiskey. Usually with a little bit of ice. But I don't don't really drink beer anymore. Got to watch my girlish figure. Um, I enjoy enjoy the wine, dinner, maybe steaks. All right, <laughs> Roy, you don't like James? James is delish. Uh, Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, Carlo. Uh, Carlos Correa and George Springer, right there. <laughs> Bringing his, I thought you were on his side, Matt Bodner. Uh, Bombay Sapphire sounds pretty good. I'm a, I, I can do some gin too. My friend uh, is. There's Michael Kopech, dual relic and autograph. She tends bar at a speakeasy-ish type place in downtown LA. So that's, I, I often hang out there. And it's one of those, uh, it's like a mixology type bar, but without the, the, the douchiness of it. There's David Price. Kopat goes to Ryan L. and the White Sox. And the David Price to 25 will go to the other Sox, Jack. Jack B. With that. 
So they fix a lot of a lot, a lot of good drinks there. I have not tried Conor McGregor's brand of whiskey. I feel like that's just a money grab. Dale Murphy to 199. Nice Dale Murphy for Don Rab and the Braves. Dale Murphy, I think, works for the uh, Athletic now. Write stories for them. Um, unless, I, unless there's like, I'm not an expert by any means, you know, but if there's like a whiskey expert, expert that says, yeah, Conor McGregor's booze is pretty good, then I'd be like, okay, I guess I'll try it. You know, Greg, what do you like? Jack, straight up, no glass, just the bottle. That uh, reminds me of college. I do enjoy the Jack Daniels, though. Number seven. What are the other numbers? Ever think about that? Makers, delicious. White tequilas are good. <laughs> you know what? Uh, years ago, Sam, John, Sam saying I'm a pink lemonade vodka or a Johnny Walker guy. Years ago, a, uh, I was in a, a different line of work and a client had had given me a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. And I think that may have ruined me forever. So now I'm that guy. That guy. Oh, now I can't. More of a Johnny Walker Blue kind of guy. Love that smooth finish. That bite at first and the smooth finish. It's like when you, uh, it's like when you have, uh, when you fly first class for the first time and then you're like, oh, I could never fly, <laughs> fly economy again. Is it overrated? Rory says, uh, Rory says it's overrated. I don't know. I mean, I'm not an expert. I, th I don't think my palate could discern, but it, it, I, it was definitely different from red and black and even green i had green too all right i don't know what what makes it overrated there's rafael devers to 199 Signature swatches. Like, is it too expensive for what it is? Is that what makes it overrated? Tasted good. But it's not two seventy a bottle. You can get, isn't it like two? You can get it for like one fifty. I do like the McAllens. Devers goes to Jack and the Red Sox. This will also go to you. Laser Show, Dustin Bedroya. Do they have like a 20 or a 21 or something like that? I got a buddy that's that's into McAllen 20s. Balvenie. I've heard of that. I've heard of this guy. Don't look, Rory. It's a one-of-one one Ryan Braun Majestic patch for Keith Williams. K. Willie, weren't you looking for a, a big hit? Well, it looks like you found yourself taking a ride on the Big Hit Express. You get to pull the train whistle. Out of fives and under, get it. One of one, Majestic Patch, Ryan Braun. For Keith. All aboard. The Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I told you not to look, Rory. Rory's a big Brewers fan. Told you not to look. 
And then on the other side is Tommy Pham. 20 out of 25. All right, two boxes to go. I, I, get, I told you not to look. I don't. I think I showed the card first, then I said it. All right. All right, we got we got to get Rory. Uh, let's see what. Here's what happens, Rory. What if if I get you a tiger, a nice tiger hit, then then Jeremy Mennel will be breathing down my neck about. Oh, there's there's the tigers for Rory. See, I can't win. All right. Out of 50, Sandy Koufax. Sam says, oh, yeah. Well, because Fernando Tatis Jr., no, I, Padres, whether they hit or not, they would be one of the most pricier teams in this product. That's a that's a no trade team. That's Wayno for the Cardinals. That's for Chad Stewart. And a dual auto, both Braves. Chipper Jones. And John Smoltz, chip off the old block and Smoltzy. Wow. Don Rab with the Braves. Ooh. Ooh. That is nice. Next guy is Zach Wheeler. Six out of 25. Nice path, nice dual relic and autograph for Brett Myers. Big rig and the Metropolitans. That's right, Greg. Double Hall of Famers, exactly. You're welcome, Don. And then we've got more Giants. Evan Longoria to 75. Longo. Going to Stephen Surrey. All right, and our final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck.
Look how my fantasy team did tonight. My fantasy team's been kind of terrible. But a lot of my guys are just underperforming. I'm trying to make some moves. I picked up Jordan Yamamoto off waivers and Mike Leak. See how we're doing today. All right, all right. Climbed a point and a half in the standings. Every little bit helps. If I keep, if I can climb a point and a half every day until until the, my playoff, my fantasy playoff, I'll be in great shape. Uh, I, I don't remember if Jordan Alvarez was on waivers. My pitching is decent. But I just traded Jonathan Means for uh, Lourdes Gurriel. I needed help uh, on the average side of things, although he went 0 for 5 today, so that didn't help at all. Um, I need steals, too. Eddie Rosario got me a steal today. Thanks, Eddie Rosario. So did Shin Shinsu Chu. There you go. All right, all right. I don't know. Need some help. All right. I don't think I need a Willie Calhoun. I feel like he's more power, low average guy. I need high average guys. I got enough guys who can hit dingers. There's Rick Porcello, unless he's been hitting hitting for for average pretty well. I could use that. I don't know. It's it's pretty tough. There's a it's 16 teams and there with a lot of savvy baseball guys. 16 teams keeper auction league. Nice Matt Kemp archival autograph out of 199 for Mark Madsen and the Dodgers. A little, a little Dodger Joe Mojo at the end here. What? Cal Calhoun's hitting 333? Huh. I'll bet he's long gone, though. I'll bet he's not on waivers. And another Longoria. Need each patch better than the last. For the Giants, Steven Surrey. There's the first Longoria. That was okay. Second Longoria looked even nicer. And the third Longoria is out of 25. I think there's like three of these, right? But yeah, 16 teams, deep rosters, smart baseball guys. It's hard, uh, hard to find any value off of waivers. That's why I'm picking up the likes of Jordan Yamamoto and Mike Leak. All right, and with the Willie Adams dual relic and autograph for your Montreal Rays. And there you go, boombox with the Rays at the end. There you have it. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.